What I should I say? Say hi, say what are we gonna do? Welcome back to Carlos Design. No. <laughs> Previously on Naughty Guys. We're back at the shipyard. Yes. And we have not seen our boat yet. Wow. Oh, wow. She's white. And the scaffolding all around. Well, now you can actually see the lazarette really well. This is finished opening. Wow, this is much bigger than I thought. Okay, so now all the changes we made are already implemented. We had to sacrifice it for a full-size freezer, <laughs> which is quite important. Let me see you going through this door. So these are all for our floating interiors. No, that's for no. insulation. Oh, insulation. Let's go downstairs. Yeah, it's can, we, can, we, yeah. can we see it downstairs? Yeah. 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 No, we follow you. Okay, so now we're actually showing you guys the lower deck, all the guest accommodation, the hotel zone. Yes. Pretty exciting because it's the primary suite is there, VIP, and then two guest cabins, and they all turned out phenomenal in my opinion. Okay, let's do it. All right, going down to our state rooms. having a beverage center down below there for guests to be able to grab a soda or water. So we finally found the spot. It wasn't easy, but we worked it in. This door that you guys are looking at is actually taking us to our dedicated laundry room. And this design turned into that. is a staircase so we did this door to kind of cover it this is a little bit of an abstraction when you walk in but it's the only way we can get it in but once you get in there we'll show you there's a washer and dryer and storage and everything so it's just a little funky on the entrance but it does allow us to have a dedicated laundry in a 75 foot yacht which is really amazing actually two Laundries. Well, we do have two laundries so we'll have two sets of washer and dryers we have a set of washer and dryers in the crew quarters and a separate dedicated laundry room. So we'll never have to carry any of the sheets or anything from, you know, bat batting up. It will all get washed here. And well, if the washer What are you saying? Before. We don't have to carry any of the shit? Sheets. Oh, sheets. <laughs> anyway, so that's our laundry room. I'm super excited about it. And we're going to walk in and show it to you. So when we walk in, first we have a little bit of storage, right? There's uh, two drawers underneath the staircase mm -hmm. that pull out this way. And then there we have our stacked washer and dryer. There's still a little bit of storage here, right? Mm -hmm. And as we turned around, we actually have an ironing board. It's so hard for me to remember because I hate ironing. So <laughs> an ironing board. So it's a really uh, its own separate space. It is air conditioned and it is a proper pool dedicated laundry. So that was something I didn't think we would be able to actually have. So I'm really excited about it. For charter is a big, big deal. Let's go to fun stuff. Carla's like, oh, no, not excited. So where are we going first? <laughs> the master? Yes. Uh, no, no, last, definitely no. last. No. Okay, start with Let's the, go to the small, small cabins first. <gasps> Stay quick. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. revealed already so half go, of it. So we're going forward <laughs> right now. And let's go to the port, port, cabin. Yeah, port cabin first. That's um, our twin cabin. Carla, walk us through the twin cabin, which also converts into a couple's cabin. Yes, the idea is that these two beds can be put in together, and then these nightstand we show to the other side. Oh, you can move it? <gasps> yeah, move it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Very cool. So it becomes a pretty big bed, no? Yeah, it's like, like 180. 180. So it's bigger than the 180. Queen. Do we have to have like an insert or something for the gap or what do we need to do there? Well, the thing is this design here kind mm. of abstracts us from, I think that design has to go down a little. Yeah. Do you see that? Huh? Yeah. Oh, the airplane divider? Yeah, the yeah. airplane divider. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, actually good that we, we're just looking at this to yeah. make sure that it's there. So yeah, that that's another to go, go down a list. Add the item to the list, Marm, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So this Rhino design became that. bit of a challenge in our boat right I mean we definitely squeezing in like a 90 footer into 75 so it was uh, it was a challenge for Carla and I felt bad at times <laughs> and for the shipyard uh, it's storage storage yeah storage, storage yeah, but being able to yeah. have it but I mean this one's great I feel mm -hmm. like that was very easy and this looks beautiful really nice I, I like how we incorporated that um, into the structure yeah that's a really yeah. cool shower yeah. actually it looks really nice we still have like a bench and then the space for or shampoo and stuff. So we were really particular about going drawers on most of our storage, especially in the heads, just from being on so many boats and using so many things. It's just so much easier when you just pull out a drawer, close the drawer. We've opted for drawers on everything, and Carla was very nice to allow us to do that. <laughs> so it went from this to this. So if you guys are going to be chartering with us and this is the cabin you're going to have, now you know what it looks like. Okay, so now we're going to go to our starboard side. smallest cabin but yet it does have a bed decent enough to people two small people could be in it it's a full-size bed it's definitely a nice cabin for a single person possibly two people could share it they really like each other because I was thinking didn't we just sleep in a full-size bed yeah it was, it was, it was okay. doable yeah it was doable my neck is holding a little bit but okay what from hugging me <laughs> Yeah, this is mm -hmm. something that when you really ask cool. about um, residential, normally in residential you think walls, you think of wallpaper or some me work, yeah. but not the type of detail that we need to create when you are doing a boat. This yeah. is completely different from the residential. Yeah. Even though lately I feel like I've seen in residential, like high-end residential, um, that they're incorporating similar things in bedrooms sometimes. Yes, and but not with these details. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. like trims everywhere. We have different materials, fabrics and panels. And of course, maybe some headboards we do mm -hmm. or some, but in this level, all the walls has some finishings, different levels of materials. It's, this is mm -hmm. a lot of work. <laughs> okay, we have a closet right there. Oh, actually, it's a big closet. Mm -hmm. I just didn't realize. And you can open the door. And we also added drawer underneath the bed, yes, right? All the beds has drawers and safe and storage and everything. <laughs> yeah. So that one actually has two two drawers. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be quite nice to mm -hmm. add to the, the space there. They're deep, right? Like as as deep as we yeah. could have went. Yeah. yeah. So that's great. So this Rhino design went to this. Joining us in the VIP, VIP cabin, that's where you're going to be staying. Oh, this is mine. This is, this is mine, she said. This is all yours. What do you mean? The VIP is the one that I want. 
Yeah, oh, oh, the one you, you don't want the you don't want the owner suite? No. Really? Yeah, I like that one. So this was something that we kind Very of interesting. changed, and then really, changed oh, the wow. design and Carla was like, hmm, I'm gonna need a couple days because I was like, I want more storage out of this. This feels like it could do better. And she came back with this design and now it's her favorite state room, which is pretty funny. But yeah, I uh, I love it too. I think it turned out really nice. Yeah, and I think because it was challenge. Yeah. This one was we tried it like too many times, and it was always weird. And now came so nice. Yeah. One of my favorite features here <laughs> is this floating storage shelves here, and I think they look really cool. And just the color pops. You can see it really well on the actual rendering. Because this one, you really feel that you are in a boat. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. it feels like a boaty, mm -hmm. boaty cabin. Mm -hmm. I love this one. We obviously have closet on this side, right? Is it only on one side? Oh, it's a double closet? It's oh, a wow. Double, yeah. Is there that much space, mm -hmm. actually? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wow. So we have, yeah, two big closets here. We were able to add a mirror, which was something I wanted. Mm -hmm. And then our head is through here. Also, it's a it's a nice shower actually in this cabin mm -hmm. too. It turned out really nice and I love how you did the bench. I, I think it's beautiful, it looks really cool. We have, we have a rendering yes. to show you guys. This design turned into that. is the owner suite. Let's make our way all the way aft and show you guys what the owner suite looks like. So this cabin is absolutely insane size for the size of the boat, for sure. It's very big. There was no compromises needed. Like it just, everything fit. We were able to get everything and we on it. Room. Let's look side to side, yeah? This is a design feature, right? Mm-hmm. With the mirror. Oh, that's right. That's the mirror. And then we have an actual office, mm -hmm. a dedicated office space here with tons of storage, actually. And then if we turn around 180, we've got a TV here. This is a king-size bed? Yes. And then we have our vanity mirror, which also could be a workstation if somebody wants to pop their little computer up. It could be makeup, jewelry. And we have a pretty good sized little side tea there, mm -hmm. which my request was to be able to accommodate like a small child. If there's a couple with a, you know, a little kid that they want to stay with them, that, that uh, side tea could, could do that, could mm -hmm. accommodate that. And then we have our walk-in closet. Sadly, not my closet, but someone will be enjoying it. We, we, we someday we can graduate downstairs. and move downstairs. I don't know. Once we once we like it up there, if we still want to go downstairs. Yeah, I don't know. We will. We so, safe. <laughs> oh, cool! Look at this. A bunch of requests from me made on this walk-in closet. I basically designed it to try to make it as functional as it could be either for us if we ever decide to not char anymore and live in it or if we ever decide to resell the boat I want to make sure that this was a really good functional walk-in closet for someone who is going to cruise around the world on this boat. Let's go to the head. Dual vanity that was on the list on NBBL. Let's show you what it really looks like in rendering. Look at the effect of the, yeah, the mirror. mirror. Well, that's, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, really cool. It's gonna okay. look like that, huh? We're gonna have that... Infinity mirror? Infinity, yeah, infinity hmm. mirror. Pocket doors here and they're gonna be just the color of the wall. So that was, just, again, a last minute little change adjustment as there are lots of them. And then we turn to our shower and we do have a really good, could we walk into this shower and see it? Yeah, it's a really good size shower. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's big. So it's definitely a very good two person shower. Yeah, that's really cool. It might even be a three person shower. It depends on the person. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good size. Wait, that's it? That's it? Yeah. That's that's our uh, our state rooms. 
it's all our deck. Yeah, it's all our deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, give us the like, the comments, and all the good stuff. And uh, on the next one, we'll show you our upper deck, our stateroom, and uh, talk about the pilot house.